Hi everyone, Miss Cox here for your last instalment of writing this week. And as promised, I'm going to go through with you the Kung Fu punctuation um, that I've been talking about this week. And we've been doing a little bit of it um, every single day when I've been teaching the writing tasks. So I'm going to go through today the different moves for the Kung Fu punctuation and how you can use it in a sentence. And then I'm going to give you a little task um, so you can practice using that Kung Fu punctuation um, at home. Okay, so I'm just going to share my screen. And then we'll get started. Okay. Right, so we are going to be doing, working on our white belt today. So to get your white belt in Kung Fu punctuation, you are going to be working on capital letters, full stops and question marks. Um, and those are the three moves for, to get your white belt. So that's what we're going to work on today, okay. So the first one that we're going to do is a capital letter. Now I can see, you can see me in the top corner of the screen. So I will do the moves as I say them. So for a capital letter, you put your arms above your head to make an A shape and you make the noise, he, he, he. Okay, so whenever we have a capital letter, so if it's at the beginning of a sentence, we can put our hands above our head to make like a capital A and we go he, he, he. So let's do that one together. So capital letter, he, he, he. Okay, so that's the first um, country punctuation. Okay, for a full stop, um, you're going to use your right hand and you're going to make a, make a fist and we're going to punch the air in just in front of us and we're going to make the noise ha. Um, and for country punctuation, we do it three times. So we're going to go ha, ha, ha. Okay, so we'll do that together. Ha, ha, ha for a full stop. Okay, moving on for a question mark. Again, we've had a little go at this. So, oh, I'm gonna to have to go the opposite way. So for a question mark, we're going to do three moves, okay? Or four moves, actually. We're going to go she, 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 ha. Okay, I'll do that one again. So we go she, 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 ha. And I'll show you one more time. You can join in with me. So she, 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 Ha, and that is a question mark. And you wrote, wrote some brilliant questions earlier in the week. So um, yes, that's what we use for a question mark. So that those are all the punctuation marks we use for a white belt. And then in class, we do some advanced Kung Fu punctuation. And this is where we look at a sentence or a statement or a question, and we put in the correct move and sound to match the punctuation mark. Okay, so what we do is we, we have a sentence and then we will put in the right um, Kung Fu punctuation action for that part of the sentence. So here we have a sentence, mum was happy. So what we would do is we go, he, 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 mum was happy, ha, ha, ha. Okay, because we've done the capital letter for mum, now we've done the full stop at the end of the sentence. So we'll do this one again. So we go, he, 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 mum was happy. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. So it's just really getting us to understand that um, sentences start with a capital letter and they finish with a full stop. Okay. So we're going to do another one now. So we'll do this one together. So he, he, he. It was hot, so we went to the beach. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, so I'll just give you some time to read that one. So you can pause the screen for each sentence and you can have a go at practicing the Kung Fu punctuation. So do pause the screen in between sentences so that you can have a go. Okay, next sentence, we've got he, he, he. Tennis can be played in pairs. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. Oh, looks like we've got something a little bit different now. And this is something that we do need to think about um, because there are a few bits of punctuation here we need to think about um, because we've actually got two capital letters here. Um, and this is something we haven't yet started talking to the children about. But France, because it is a country, um, it is a place, it is a, something called a proper noun. So it has its own capital letter. So we need to remember that when we get to the country France, 
We need to remember that actually France has got a capital letter too. And also it looks like we might be asking a question here. So let's see, let's have a little read of this. What does it say? So we've got capital letter to start with. He, he, he. What is the capital of he, he, he? France. <gasps> she, 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 ha. She, 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 ha. She, 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 ha. Oh, so we've got a question. Now, year one should know this because we read a book recently called Emma Jane's Aeroplane. And we actually learned about the capital city of France. So your children might be able to tell you what the capital city of France because Emma Jane and her visited it in their, her aeroplane. So maybe you can tell your grown-ups now what the capital city of France is because we, we can actually answer that question. Okay, let's move on. Let's, what's the next one? Oh, it looks like it might be another question. And oh, I can spot our word of the week in here. Can you spot our word of the week? If you can spot the word of the week in this question, tell your grown-ups now. Or maybe your grown-ups can remember what the word of the week is too. Okay, let's get ready. Let's do some Kung Fu punctuation. So, he, 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 where are you? She, 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 ha. She, 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 ha. She, 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 ha. Okay, so we've got a question there. Okay. Now, this is the really fun part, of the, bit, the bit that the children always love is we do a tournament, okay? Now, when we do tournaments in class, it's normally I am the person who is calling out the punctuation and then all the children are showing me how quickly they can remember this. So we're going to do exactly the same. So I'm going to be the person who um, starts the tournament and then you at home are going to be seeing who is the quickest at making the punctuation marks with the Kung Fu punctuation. So just to read out the rules, for a tournament, a proper bounce of punk Kung Fu punctuation requires three players. So me, okay, and then hopefully there's more than one of you at home. So if you have got a grown up around or a brother or sister or um, whoever else is living with you, they can all come and play this. It's a really good game. And then you're, I'm facing you. I'm imagining you're out there facing me, okay? And then we're going to bow to each other. Now, when we bow, we do this. We sort of bow forward, okay? And then after we've bowed, okay, I will call out two punctuation marks and you have got to make the punctuation mark, okay, that you think I have said, okay? The winner is the one who puts together the two moves and the sounds in the quickest time. Okay, so for example, if I said capital letter and full stop, it's the first person who goes he, 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 ha, 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 the quickest. And then that's the person that will win. Okay, so we'll just quickly just remind ourselves what the three punctuation marks are. So we've had um, capital letter, so that's he, he, he. We've had full stop, ha, ha, ha. And we've had question mark, she, 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 ha, she, 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 ha, she, 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 ha. Okay, so we're going to play a little tournament now. Um, and I'm going to call out, okay, the punctuation marks. Um, and then you, I'm going to give you some time, you have some time just to make the sounds and do the actions. And then at home, you can decide who might have won each game okay so here we go so here's the first round round one and we normally play three rounds in um in moles class so we'll do the same for you we'll do three rounds okay so round one okay and that is capital letter and full stop okay right well i hope um, we've got some really worthy winners there who remember that it is capital letter and full stop. Okay, so well done. Okay, round two. Round two is capital letter question mark. Okay, so hopefully we had capital letter and question mark. Okay, so he, he, he. She, 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 ha, she, 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 ha, she, 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 ha. Don't forget, each piece of punctuation needs to be said three times, okay? So it's the person who says each of them three times. Okay, last round for you. So round three, okay, round three, here we go. Is question mark full stop? Okay, 
Okay, so hopefully we had she, 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 ha, she, 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 ha, she, 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 ha, 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 ha. Okay, so well done if you played all three rounds and you had some winners. If you want to go back and play it again, that's absolutely fine because we are all learning this and it does take a little bit of time to learn all those moves. So you may want to play this a few times with me or you might even want to set up your own game at home if you've got more than two players. So you can easily play this tournament at home. Now, what we're gonna be asking you to do today with the Kung Fu punctuation, we've got a bit of a task that we're going to set for you. Um, you're going to be sent a, um, a separate document with this picture on quite big. It's a picture of a medieval castle. Okay, it's a beautiful castle with surrounded by water. Um, and what your task is today is to look at this picture and think of some sentences to, to describe what you can see. Okay, you can also, if you have any questions, do you have any questions about this castle? And then you're going to write down any sentences and questions and don't forget to use the Kung Fu punctuation to act out your sentences. So for example, when I'm looking at this picture, um, I can see, so I might write the sentence, I can see, because remember, I is one of our words of the week. I can see green murky water. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, so he, 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 I can see green murky water. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. Um, oh, what else can I see? I, oh, so he, 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 I can see tall towers. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. Uh, and, oh, I might have some questions about this. And actually, I've got a question that does have one of our words of the week. Um, and it's, what I want to find out is, he, 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 where is the way in? She, 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 ha, she, 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 ha, she, 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 ha. Because I can't see how we get into this castle from this picture, okay? So um, those are some questions and sentences that you can write about this picture. You might have lots of different ideas, lots of things that you can see, lots of questions you might ask about this castle. And then we'd like you to, as per usual, either um, you can video yourself doing the Kung Fu punctuation, which would be lovely to see those, um, and then write those questions or sentences down using um, the Kung Fu punctuation. So remembering your he, 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 capital letters, remembering your ha, 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 full stops, and remembering your she, 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 ha, she, 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 ha, she, 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 ha, question marks. Um, you might even, if you really want to amaze us with some more, some orange, you might remember to use those words of the week, I and where and we. Okay, so you might even want to use those words of the week. Okay, so have fun um, looking at this picture and describing what you can see um, and maybe even asking us some questions. And we look forward to seeing how you get on. So I'm just gonna stop sharing so I can say a nice goodbye. Okay, again, if you ever have any worries or concerns about any of the tasks that we give you, do either dojo message um, us, or me or Mrs. Burton or Miss Brown, or you can email us as well, any questions that you have about any of the tasks. I hope you enjoy it. And I look forward to seeing you next week uh, where we do lots more fun um, writing together. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.